guys welcome back to a new video today's video is going to be a travel hacks video that will help you guys when you're on the go like me if you love to travel you guys know that you have like so much to do like schedule the flight with your family like if it's a family vacation and also like wake up early and i'm going to be helping you guys by explaining some travel hacks that will help you guys like get ready for like when you're on the go to like go on the airplane and you're gonna be enjoying a nice vacation with your family so yeah today's video is gonna be that today okay why do i keep saying today um so i want you guys to like subscribe turn on those post notifications for all my newest videos and also i just want to give a shout out to all the wonderful youtubers that i'm subscribed to go subscribe to the wonderful youtubers i'm subscribed to and i just want to shout out shout out to the to the Merrill twins shout out to the Merrill twins veronica and vanessa i love you guys so much hopefully i get to meet you both pretty soon and also i just want to shout out to shout out to jd vlogs hope you guys are having a good day Hope you guys can see this video, and yeah, hope to meet you soon. Alright, so, before we get started with this video, I want you guys to like, subscribe, turn those post notifications, and go subscribe to all of these wonderful YouTubers that I am subscribed to. Show them some love and support on their channel. Go watch and give their videos a like because they are, like, literally awesome. They're being themselves and literally just go subscribe to them because you will be like watching some of their videos which i watch a lot of their videos when i have my free time like behind the scenes behind the scenes of my videos you guys don't know but i probably like watch like a lot of videos from them, the youtubers i'm subscribed to but anyways you guys do it in five seconds five four three two one do you guys do it if you guys didn't then go check out all these wonderful youtubers i subscribe to because you don't want to miss a new video whenever they all upload especially if you are a fan of the Merrill twins i'm a fan of the Merrill twins myself so like if you're a fan of the Merrill twins go subscribe to them turn on those post notifications for all their newest videos because you don't want to miss whenever they upload anyways guys let's get started so travel hack number one so the first travel hack is making sure you are all packed. Now, from my experience, now as you guys know, I travel. I travel whenever I can with my family. My family and I will go on family vacations whenever we can because like we get um cuz we're busy cuz I'm busy with school and I do film videos for you guys whenever I have time like YouTube singing and dancing are on the things I like to do on the side. So right now I decided to film a YouTube video for you guys today. And also my family and me will work so hard to like figure out whenever we want to do a family vacation for every single one of us to like be able to enjoy like a little free time. Like of course you guys need a little free time. But anyways, so we're going back to travel hack number one. And I'm going to explain how you guys should do this first one. So this first travel hack is making sure you're packed right before you go traveling. Please, please, please make sure you are packed before you go traveling. Make sure you set a reminder. You can set a reminder. I would suggest or recommend that you add a reminder to your phone and just put, um, double check my packing on my suitcase or just put as a reminder um make sure i packed my luggage before the the day before i travel so yeah but um yeah so that's the first travel hack i would recommend that you do because like if you don't have any reminder of reminding yourself to like pack for your trip then you're gonna be like there last minute like the night before you're gonna be like struggling with what to pack and you don't want that so i recommend and suggest to you that you just like do it before like probably do it when you find out or like 
when you have any time, like, during, like, the school week, probably find a balance between, or time between, like, talking and spending time with your family, and then, um, I would say you should go, like, start packing if you are, like, on a break right now, or if you and your family are hopefully wanting to go on a family vacation, but for when you do, just make sure that you pack your luggage before you go on the flight, because on the flight, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I'm not packed that many outfits. But anyways, that is a travel hack that can really help you. Just as a reminder, make sure you are, like, when if you have any time, like, if you have any time during the day, like, when you're at school, just make sure to look back at your reminder and be like, okay, um, I have to look at this reminder and remind myself when I get home, when I have time, that I have to pack my luggage for the flight. That could either be the next day or on the weekend. So, yeah, that is a really good hack that can really help you because you have a reminder that will remind you to pack. All right, second hack is wake up early. So, with this hack is you just need to set an alarm. Just set an alarm on your phone for, like, any time in the morning. So, um... If you have, there are morning flights, midday flights, and night flights, which I would, in my opinion, I wouldn't go with the night flights just because, like, you get, like, a lot of tired, like, you get a lot of tiredness and you get, like, more, like, sleepy, so I would suggest, in my opinion, to, like, schedule a morning flight or, like, a midday flight, just that way you don't, like, miss out in school, maybe, like, um... And I did this before, so I suggest that you wake up early on the day of the flight. Wake up early, like, probably, like, cut back. Maybe, like, switch your, like, school night routine and make it, like, be, like, go to bed, like, at 9.30 or, like, 9.50, somewhere, like, around that time. And then, like, find a good time that's a good time that you would wake up so that way you're ready to go to the airport and ready to have a good vacation and just make sure you have the alarm on your phone or if you have a regular alarm just make sure it wakes you up because you don't want to miss out on the flight so their travel hack is making sure that you let your teachers know at school so you guys are probably wondering how this one i I actually did this one before, so two years ago, two years ago, when I first started traveling in 2017, it was my first family vacation with my dad and my grandma, and I was going to be leaving, like, on June 3rd, I think, I was going to be leaving, no, not June 3rd, I was not going to be leaving on June 3rd, I forgot, because, like, that's my sister's birthday, but anyways, um, so on in 2017 of June I think it was like either June 12th it was June 13th there you go June 13th of 2017 I was about to go traveling for the first time because I've not gone on an airplane before in my entire life so I before I went on my trip I actually was like okay um I need to let all my teachers know, so I gave my teachers, like, a little reminder, I think, I'm not too sure, because I don't remember that much of the story from when I did, when it, like, was, like, when it was that day, I wish I, just wish I could go back in time, and then probably, like, remember the entire story, and then tell you guys, because, like, I do not probably remember that entire story as much as I did, like, when it actually did happen, but anyways, um, for as far as I remember, I let my teachers know. I told all my teachers I wasn't going to be in. So they gave me some, like, homework that I needed to do or that I could do when I, come, when I came back from my vacation. And also, I remember this one day before I, like, left school to, like, go on my vacation, I brought in my plane ticket, a copy of my plane ticket, for when I leave and I come back so 
yeah i recommend that you do that like i recommend if they say at your school if you're homeschooled then i think you're good i would say you're good if you're homeschooled but if you go to a public school i would recommend and suggest that you just make a copy of your plane ticket like a your public school asks you to like a copy of your plane ticket i recommend that you do that because then they'll be like okay um we see your plane ticket and you'll be all good and all set to go on your vacation travel hack number four make sure to read the email and help your parents out or your older siblings when you're traveling so so let's say let's say if i was traveling let's just say for, let's just say for example if i was traveling right now let's say if i was just traveling right now with my family which we're not but just to, but just go off it just like pretend that i'm um, let's say if I was at the airport right now and I was just looking through some port emails and I got an email from the airlines to punch in the code to like log in and just to check in, right? So make sure you help your family out. Make sure you help out your family with that because you could probably be like, oh, I see the code right here or you probably memorize the code or you probably know how to do it. Because, like, if some people in your family don't know how to do it and you want to teach them, that's a good one. Because, like, they can be like, oh, um, I don't see it. Maybe because it's, like, a little too small. But you can be like, oh, here's the code. Just punch it into, like, the little kiosk. Um, and then you are automatically already in the system. You just have to punch in the code, open the email, and your family will... Probably some of your family members will be really proud of you. They'll probably be like, oh my goodness, how did you know that? And yeah. And if you also have, and if you have an older sibling who is like starting to teach you how you can do that on your own for when you go traveling by yourself in the future, then I think that's a really, I would say that's a really good one. In my opinion, because you're not only like helping, like if you're an older sibling, if you're an older sibling like me, because I have a couple of, other siblings um definitely teach like the younger ones how to do it so that way like in the future when they travel by themselves in the future they know how to exactly do it because they paid attention to when you did it before and literally it's just like a lifesaver so yeah travel hack number five so sorry about that but um travel hack number five so the fifth travel hack is going to be when you are at security. So you know at security. So when you're at security, you know you're gonna have to take off some of the things that you have on. You know you have to like either take off some of your jewelry if you wear jewelry to the airport. Like how I would say I probably wear like not that much jewelry. I'm not sure if I wear that much jewelry or not. Like, literally, whenever I go traveling, I just, like, put on probably, like, a little bit of a bracelet on, a necklace, and just, like, have my hair down or up if I, like, and in the mood to, like, put my hair up and, like, two space buns or, like, just have it down. But, um, yeah. So, when you're at security, when you're at security, when you are at security, they ask you to like take off your hair scrunchie you can have it on, but they'll like ask you to like take off some of the things that you may have on. Like if you have on jeans in the airport, you have like a couple of things that can that may need to be thrown out. Like if you have nail polish, they could probably like be like, okay, um, or you have to throw out your nail polish or like this can also happen with your makeup. If you have, like, a couple of items of makeup there, like, if it's, like, a small makeup palette, which I have, a, like, a small makeup palette, as you guys probably know from, like, my other videos or other video. But, um, if you have, like, a lot of makeup in there, they're probably going to throw out some of your makeup. It depends how much you have. Like, if you have a small little pouch or, like, a small little, um purse or anything else that you have like your extra luggage in there like your phone your headphones your charger and like anything else 
that you may not want to lose like maybe like a bracelet from a friend or anything else like that just make sure you put it down i know it can be hard to like or a little tricky to like get through security at the airport but it's for your safety and they're just making sure that you don't have anything bad that's gonna be like a violation to the airport they just want to make sure that you're all good to go and then after that you're ready to go to the next side of the airport and go to the gate of the airport so i recommend and please make sure that you even if even if you really don't want to like Say, for example, I was traveling right now, and I was at the airport, and I was holding my laptop because, like, I was going to be doing some editing. I would have to put my laptop in a separate bin, so that way they could just make sure that I'm all good to go, and they would be like, okay, you're all ready to go, and have the next person go up. So, yeah, it's really that easy. You just have to put down all your stuff. They're just going to tell you, okay, you're all good to go. Make sure you don't have anything else in, make sure you're not stirring anything else. Like if you have jeans, make sure you take out what is ever in your pocket. Like if you have like a pack of gum there for like the plane or mints. If you have braces, you guys know that you cannot have gum at the moment. If you have braces, just make sure you don't have any gum. Make sure you have um like, I don't know, like mints. So that way that can help you get through the plane or maybe like a little bit of candy or like a little snack that you packed from home. But yeah, that is one of my travel hacks. Travel hack number six. So we're we're almost done with these travel hacks. So travel hack number six is when you're on the other side. So if you do not want to so this one is if you don't want to pay for the airline food at the airport. So you guys know that you have a couple that you have like an option to bring some food from your house to the airport or you could get the airport food that they have inside the airport before you like take off. And especially on the airplane. So if you if you're like me and you don't like to like waste your money but sometimes you kind of are like okay how about i just like have like a yogurt or like for me i'm a very like when it comes to the airport for me in my opinion i like to get like something that's just gonna fill me up probably for like until i land or until like i get on the flight depending on how long i have to wait for the flight so whenever i go to the airport i'm either in the mood for like um a donut but i don't but I've been trying to stay away from donuts at the moment. I'll either be like in the mood for a donut or um, a yogurt, which I would love because I love yogurt or yogurt parfait. But sometimes I will get yogurts. Sometimes at the airport, I will get like a yogurt to like fill me up until like I'm like near the gate to my flight leaves. So, yeah, if you do not want to buy any airport food, I recommend that you just bring some of, like, some food from your house. It could probably be, like, a little granola bar that could probably fill you up when you're on a flight. And, like, anything else that you would like, probably, like, a trail mix that would probably, that you would bring to, like, share with your family. That could probably, um, fill you up until you land which you'll probably feel good and also bring a little water bottle i know this is gonna sound like a little crazy but bring a little bit of a water bottle if you don't want to pay for the for the water bottles that are expensive at the airport just bring a tiny little empty one and then the other side of the airport you can just fill up with water and yeah and you won't have to get to pay for um, the really cheap water bottles that are at the airport and this can really help you save up money for like the next trip that you and your family want to plan for any time. Alright, so the last travel hack, one of the last travel hacks is when you're on the plane and how to avoid yourself getting, not having good hearing on a plane. So I have actually, this actually happened to me before. So in 2017, I did not have anything to like stop me from like not getting my ears clogged up on plane. So I, 
So when I landed, I actually couldn't hear for like an hour. And believe me, guys, you do not want that to happen. You do not want that to happen to yourself. So I recommend that you have like, I recommend if you don't have braces, have some gum or some candy to help you. Or even like some trail mix that you may have gotten on the flight. And if you have braces, like I said, have some mints that way you don't feel the pressure of the plane because that was happening to me like my first time traveling. But yeah, that can actually really help you. Travel hack number eight. When you get off the flight, when you just landed and you are going to call an Uber and then um, think you're going to your Airbnb or hotel where you're staying at, um, where you're staying at, I recommend that you be patient so I know it's like really hard to wait but if you just landed and you want to wait a couple more minutes to go pick up your baggage at baggage plane sorry about that if you want to so let's say if you and a couple of your siblings have your um or if everyone in your family has their luggage on plane but some of them are going to get pulled off the plane and go on the um, baggage carousel that they have in the airport that your baggage goes around and around on that until you go to pick it up and identify your luggage. Trust me, it is worth it. So, yeah. And I just also wanted to say these travel hacks will help you. Let me just say these travel hacks have helped me since I basically started traveling since two years ago and now I use some of these travel hacks when I travel and trust me these travel hacks will be coming in handy for when you go traveling and when you have a family vacation so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video bye